All right, let's uh, do this example problem real quick. This example problem will help us review open and closed pipes. It says a sound wave is traveling 340 meters per second. What is the frequency of the wave if it is resonating in an open pipe with a length of 0.675 meters? All right, so um, the velocity is... 340 meters per second, all right? Uh, now, the only other thing that it tells us is that um, the length of the pipe, and I'm gonna write this out as length, is 0.675 meters. And what we wanna know is what is the frequency? Well, we know uh, that the relationship between Wavelength, velocity, and frequency looks like this. Velocity is frequency times wavelength. We already have the velocity. It's 340. We want to know the frequency. And so if we can find the wavelength, then we can plug it in and we can solve for frequency. Well, we have a length, but remember that this is saying that it's resonating in an open pipe. So this is not the wavelength of the wave that's producing this sound. This sound is being produced in an open pipe that has a length of 0.675 meters, All right? So what we wanna know then is, well, what is the wavelength? So if the length of the pipe is 0.675 meters, what's the wavelength? Well, we learned that in an open pipe, the length of the pipe is one half times the wavelength. And so since we have an open pipe, we're gonna say that the length of the pipe is equal to one half times the wavelength. And the length of the pipe is 0.675 meters. So that's equal to one half wavelength. So, to solve for wavelength, we're gonna divide both sides by one half, which is really the same as multiplying by two. And what we're gonna find is that the wavelength is equal to 0.675 uh, divided by one half. And that means that the wavelength is not 0.675, but 1.35 meters. All right. So now, once we know the wavelength, we go back to our original equation, and we can say that the wavelength is 1.35 meters. And now I can put in here that 340 equals F times 1.35. Five because that is the wavelength. Now we do our math. We're going to divide both sides by 1.35. I won't show you because I don't have a whole lot of space, but we're going to say F is equal to 340 divided by 1.35. And so 340 divided by 1.35 is equal to 251.9 is how we can round it. So 251.9 hertz. All right. So as a matter of review, um, we've already done problems like this where we want to find something in our velocity equals frequency times wavelength problem. In this case, uh, we were trying to find the frequency. Uh, in order to find the frequency, we needed velocity and wavelength. They didn't give us the wavelength, but we knew that there was a pipe with a length of 0.675 meters. And we've learned uh, that when we deal with open pipes, the length is equal to one half wavelength. Therefore, we can put the 0.675 in uh, to our equation here and convert from length to wavelength. And we know that the wave in this problem was 1.35 meters long because of our conversion. Then we went back up to the top here and we filled in our wavelength 
we did algebra, we divided both sides by 1.35, that went away, 340 divided by 1.35 was 251.9 hertz. So, a sound wave that's traveling 340 meters per second in an open pipe with length of 0.675 meters will create a 251.9 hertz sound wave um, when uh, set into motion. If this was a closed pipe, if it says it was a closed pipe, we would do everything the same, except this would not be length equals one half wavelength. It would be length equals one fourth wavelength, which would change my answer down here and my wavelength here and my frequency there. All right, hope uh, that that was helpful. You should be able to do all of the rest of those on the sheet now.